There's so many useful household items you can make with that old Lego collection. Device holders, table protectors, even board games. So dust off that Lego bin and let's dive in. If you've got a troublesome entryway and always need someone to hold the door, there's no need to buy a doorstop. Just get yourself some slanted and flat Lego bricks and go to work. If you've got a large gap, then stack higher. Just make sure there's enough to catch the door. You obviously have all kinds of options here, but the idea is to make a simple wedge to stop the hatch. Now if you find it slides around, just wrangle up a Lego tire or two and slap them right on the back and give it some grip. Let's talk desk essentials. Your paper clip holder is boring, so liven it up. The first step is to assemble a fairly basic stack of bricks. You can use any height you want, but when you reach the top, surround the center with smaller pieces. Leave it open to hold some magnets. You can drop a strong fridge magnet or two right in the slot and then cover it up with another layer. That's it, a nifty Lego paperclip holder to add a little flair to your desk. There's a million different life hacks when it comes to making a stand for your phone, but rarely can they be this customized and easy. Just get a medium Lego base plate and lay some bricks across the front and back of the panel. After that, just attach an extension off the end. This is going to give the holder some extra support and prevent it from tipping over. When that's done, dig through your Legos and locate a slanted piece that'll let you lean your phone up against it with a nice viewable angle. This can easily be adapted to handle any size phone or even your tablet. But what about a charging holder or a dock? The stand can easily be adapted into a dock by removing the base plate and replacing it with two long bricks to support the phone holder. The gaps created by lifting the blocks up should allow you to easily slide a cord in and let your phone charge while it's sitting in the dock. It's not that pretty, but it's certainly effective. Now there is one more thing we can do to really make this unique. Let's go wireless. You're gonna need a QI or Qi charging pad to pull this off. Start with a long rectangular base plate and lay the wireless charging pad right on top. Assess the space you have and build around the charging unit to hold it in place. Think of it like making a belt. You might need to change things a bit as you go. This isn't even its final form. All right, run your cable to the wireless charging pad and get it snug and secure. Mount the wireless panel right in the phone dock. This might be all you need to party, but we needed to add one more small Lego to make sure that the phone wouldn't slide out. Now it's ready. Let's check it out. Just drop in your device and boom, you're charging wirelessly on a homemade Lego dock. That's pretty cool if you ask me. I wanted to build a large multicolored flower pot and got stopped by a black brick shortage. So I changed the design a bit by stacking four layers of bricks in the shape of a square while leaving the center empty. I'm particularly fond of green and black, not sure why. After adding a bottom panel under the hole, I grabbed a little potting soil from another plant I had and filled up the pot. This could easily house herbs, plants, small flowers, anything really. Just build it to the size of the item you want to plant in it. The pot looks pretty good in the kitchen or on a windowsill, and to think. All you had to do was snap together some plastic pieces and add some dirt. Having an external hard drive attached to your laptop can really limit its mobility. Get yourself a temporary adhesive strip, like the kind you'd use on your wall, and apply it to the top of a thin Lego. Stick that on the bottom of your hard drive and then follow the same method for your laptop, except this time, put the adhesive on the bottom of the Lego. Whenever you need the hard drive out of the way or more stationary, just plug it right into the back of the laptop and go about your business. One of the most useful things you can do with spare Lego bricks is create your own custom drink coasters. Just choose a size and shape that you're going for and lay out the groundwork. I found 10 by 10 dots to be the perfect size. Once your base is done, connect it all together with single layered flat pieces. This will ensure that any item you put on the finished coaster will sit securely and also gives you the ability to go for a classy approach. But if you're feeling more frisky, you can always go a little more avant-garde. But let's be perfectly honest here. Who wouldn't be impressed by your alluring coasters? Just plop them down and go to town. Let's make a mini chessboard that can easily work for traveling. Dig through your pieces and locate 32 blocks of the same color and size. Do this one more time, but with another color. Just alternate laying the tiles down and use or build a base to hold it all together. Once you have your board formed, the fun begins. Go through your Lego bin and figure out which blocks you want to represent your chess pieces. Just make sure the pieces you use are easy to grab and stick securely to your tiles. Our friends at audible.com were kind enough to sponsor this video, which helps keep us caffeinated and keeps eviction notices off the door. I've actually been an Audible member for over 11 years now. 
And since they have over 250,000 titles available across every genre, I've hardly even scratched the surface. If you punch in audible.com slash household, you can try it free for 30 days. This also lets them know that I sent you, which is greatly appreciated. I've been listening to Brandon Sanderson's The Way of Kings, book one of the Stormlight Archive. It's an amazing fantasy epic with vivid characters, attention to detail, and an immersive plot that's making it difficult for me to hit the pause button. So you can check that out or find something more up your alley. Just go to audible.com slash household or click the link in the description. Thank you everyone for watching and subscribing. Here's my suggested videos to check out next, and we'll see you next time.